the principal thing the principal thing that is the title for this podcast now recently we have been talking about the divine mother of course in this world most people refer to god as just some man with a beard in the clouds they say men need images these things are just for teaching purposes just as the ancient Kemites also had the statues with different heads to teach what they wanted to convey to the students or the neophytes. When you speak of God as different aspects of God and in the Bible you are told let us make man in our image and after our likeness our yet some people think there's only one god there's only one absolute but when it comes to creation there are many gods and this is why we have these podcasts proverbs the fourth chapter and the seventh verse talks about wisdom is a principal thing wisdom is a principal thing which means wisdom is very important it's a must have a must have and all thy gettings you better get understanding Proverbs, the fourth chapter and the seventh verse. Here we deal with the esoteric teachings of the ancients, which has confused the modern man. Because he has been conditioned to think otherwise. Back to the tree of life. Or the Kabbalah tree of life. From Keter, crown. Keter is always called crown. The first light that emerges from Keter, as you are looking at the image, descends on your right hand side, which is Hokmah. Isis, Mary. You name it. This Divine Mother is called Wisdom. That is why this book is teaching you, or this verse is teaching you, Wisdom is a principal thing. And so I say to you, the Divine Mother is higher than Jehovah. Because from the Divine Mother, when you cross over to the left, that is Benah. Osiris. Osiris is called understanding. So there you have the two. But wisdom comes first. First you must get a principal thing which is wisdom. Then in all thy gettings get understanding. Which comes from the masculine part of God. First, it was the feminine part of God that gives you wisdom. Got it? Okay. So now, right beneath Bina and Hokmah, Isis and Osiris, you have Da'at, which is knowledge, real knowledge which is given to you through the Divine Father and Divine Mother. Because wisdom and understanding will produce the art. Normally you see the art with the Star of David. Two pyramids interlacing one another. 
one pointing upwards, the other pointing downwards. Male and female created he them. Your soul is created in the image of God. Male and female, just as you have Bena and Hokmah. Now, when you look at Keter, crown, and Da'at, we are talking about the central pillars now, or the central pillar, or the central column, which is normally referred to as your spinal column. You have crown, Keter, Da'at. Then you have the son, Jacob. Do you not? Then you have the earth. And so on the central column, you have God himself, light, descending on the central pillar, all the way down to the earth. So you are told, no one has ever been to heaven except the one who came from heaven, the son of man. It is how God himself descends downwards. That is the central pillar. But before this happens, different layers of bodies are created. Thus, you have all the other Sephiroth. Because this light zigzag all the way down Jacob's ladder into the earth. And so, when you go back to the story of the prodigal son, when you are told, the younger brother traveled into a far country. You came from the realm of light all the way down to earth. That is the far country. And this son will return back. And so as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the son of man be lifted up. The spinal column is where you are raised. Now, when you go to Freemasonry, we've just talked about wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. These are the three pillars. The three pillars. Now, when you look at the opposite of these three, that is what kills Haram Abif, the widow's son. Why is he a widow's son? It is the same as Jesus. The mother, without a male partner. You see. Jesus was born without the father, physically speaking, according to the story. And Hiram also has a mother without a father. It's the same story. It's just that in Freemasonry, it is about educating people. But the trouble with all these societies is, over time, the intentions are good, but then you have people whose intentions are not good, who will penetrate these systems. By the time you know it, it has a bad name. You see. And so ignorance today is in the earth, especially in the African churches. That is where the seed of ignorance is planted. Most of the time, people are told, I rebuke Satan. Let's shoot the devil. And this is real ignorance. Have you ever seen the devil? When you read the book of James, James, according to the story, talks about not even 
the archangel Michael when they had a dispute over the body of Moses, even dead. I want to say that word again. Dead. To say, I rebuke you, Satan. Instead said, the Lord rebukes you. Yet people shoot Satan in their churches every weekend. Rebuking Satan every weekend. This is ignorance. This is where light must come in our heads. Now in the Bible they said the Son of God came face to face with Satan on a mountain. Did the Son of God have a wrestling match with Satan? Did they come to blows? Of course not. All he had to do was away from me, Satan. Through mind, you reject bad ideas. That's all it means. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Archangel Michael is the angel of the sun, S-U-N. Everything goes back to the sun. When you wake up, this will be your reality. Peace.